I really need to stop shopping like I'm moving bricks. Okay, like I ain't got kids and big girl bills. Girl, you got something you want to tell me? Hmm, you moving weight? <laughs> El Chapo. <laughs> and we're back. Did you miss me? It was rhetorical. Okay, I have lip gloss on my teeth. Hope not. If you are new here, my name is Kate. And I am your new style bestie. I'm here helping you master confidence through style, beauty, and fashion. Period. Go ahead, join this girl gang. Right now we have five five star reviews. Every girl gang member is leaving five star reviews and we're growing over here. So I don't even need to convince you as to why you need to join this girl gang, okay? But you, you, you just don't wanna miss out. Uh, ask the other members. People love it over here. Oh my God, I'm never leaving. I'm never leaving. I'm in this shit forever. You gonna love it over here, so let me hook you on in. Come closer. I have some things to share before we get into this video. Um, some things have happened since we last met. I announced that I am a member of the Macy's Style Crew. I know, right? You've seen me in a Macy's ad on Instagram. Hmm. That was me. Lots of exciting new things coming up in partnership with Macy's and with some of your favorite brands. So be on the lookout. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest. I'm gonna leave that information down below. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna be serious. In my last video, I shared some of my must-haves fall trends that I'm predicting and some items that I um, recently purchased in preparation for fall. I told you that there would be a part two to that video where I style some of those items. And you know, I kind of got a little carried away with myself and it became just a full on dress up. Dress up, let's just go play in our closet and try on outfits um, in preparation for fall. So let's get started. Can we get a close up of this skin though? I had to shoot a campaign early this morning so this makeup has been on since 8.30 this morning and it is now 5 p.m. And I am an oily girl who lately has been having some serious eczema flare ups and my skin is nowhere nearly as um, oily as it would typically look at this time of day if I was wearing a full face of makeup and I shot a photo shoot in the humidity in which I got caught in the rain. That's why my hair is like this. Skin is giving, it's, it's on glow for real. And the only thing that is different about my routine is I use the Maybelline 24 hour skin tint and this was only my second day using it and I am a fan, okay? So let's go ahead and get into these looks because that's what you're here for. Mm-hmm. So, I showed you, let me get my, my notes up. Mm -hmm. So, I showed you in our last video some must-haves and then I also showed you some recent purchases. I am about to talk through how I styled some of those recent purchases. I wanted to start with something that I actually didn't show. My Instacart orders. So one of the items that I actually didn't share in the last video that I purchased was this sweatshirt. And I got it from Zara and it has a deep V-neck and it has these exaggerated shoulders. It's the perfect like transitional piece, transitioning into cooler weather, cooler temperatures. And I paired it with a denim mini skirt because for some reason I really gravitate towards mini skirts. I think they look really great on my shape. And then I paired it with a knee high snake print boot. These boots are by Shoots, Shuts. I think I'm saying, I think it's Shoots. And I've had these boots for a very long time invest in good boots you will have them for years you will have them for years i've had these boots 
probably now going, this is probably going on my third year having these boots. For cooler temperatures at night, you know, we want to transition into later fall. I would throw on a leather moto jacket just over the shoulders. I was very much inspired by Danielle who owns the vault label. I'm going to pop another video or another photo of an outfit that I wore that like everybody loved this outfit and it kind of was a last minute put together but it was the same concept. And if you pay attention to some of your favorite fashionistas or some of your favorite style experts or stylish people stick to a specific outfit formula that they just keep recreating. So here is a video or picture of me going out with my friends and it was a cooler night and I wore a mini skirt but this mini skirt was a cargo skirt. It was a standout look and I just want to keep recreating that look as many times as possible. So I'm going to pop both looks here for you to see what they look like and I think that this outfit formula is something that will translate into fall and even winter to be honest and it's easily recreatable. So you can recreate this mini skirt and knee high boot look at a jacket or even an oversized cardigan or even a blazer but this outfit formula is perfect to transition into fall um, and you can recreate it likely with some things you already have. If you don't have these exact items don't fret if you can recreate this. Oh my god. Sorry, Instacart, y'all. Instacart. And if you don't respond, they'll bring you back some bullshiggity. Okay? Um, in my last video, I mentioned cargo everything is on trend and it has been on trend. And honestly, the slouchier, the better, in my opinion, at least for my shape. So I showed the Zara slouchy uh, cargo jeans. I had them tailored in the waist just a little bit. And here I am wearing them with one of my new uh, favorite finds from Target, which are these seamless, um, like crew neck. I, I want to call them a baby tee, but it's not. It's, it's slightly cropped, but it's a seamless short sleeve crew neck top. And they are super stretchy. I love them. So I paired it with that. And I paired the jeans also with a bomber jacket. Another uh, outfit formula that can be recreated. It doesn't matter if you wear camo cargos or if you just want to wear a pair of slouchy jeans but just add a cropped jacket or something with like an exaggerated shoulder and a form-fitted top it could be a bodysuit and this is a really great look that can translate into cooler months if it is warmer where you live just scrap the jacket and go for the slouchy pant i could not decide if i wanted to wear my jordan ones or if I wanted to wear my ASICs. Speaking of my ASICs, I completely forgot to show these in my pre-fall purchases video, which was the last video I uploaded. I forgot to show them. Are uh, fire, okay? Fire, 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 fire. Oh my God. Do you know how hard it is to get your hands on a pair of ASICs gel Keanu 14s? Oh my gosh, Fashion Sherlock. Yes, I think her name is the Fashion Sherlock. First of all, she is queen, never pay full price. So therefore, she and I see eye to eye. We speak the same language. But she posted them on matches.com. I wanted them so bad. And when I saw they were sold out everywhere, um, I just chucked it up like, yo, I'm just not going to get them. I, I'm not loving the resale price, so I'm just not going to get them. Next thing you know, I'm I'm in the bed. True story. True story. I'm in the bed. Late night scrolling. I black out. Boom. When I wake up, I got a confirmation email saying thank you for your purchase. I don't know what ha I don't know what happened, but shout out to the Fashion Sherlock because I paid retail for them and I did not have to pay resale for them. Unfortunately, when you're moving real fast, um, and I learned my lesson with this. When you're moving real fast and you're buying from European websites, you need to do a little bit more work on the uh, front end trying to convert your size. And I have failed three times with trying to convert my size um, on a European website when buying shoes specifically. Um, I failed miserably when I bought these. I showed these in my last video, but if you think I didn't find them in my size, I found them. 
they fit. I found them in my size. The ones I showed in my last video were way too big. I still have those. I need to sell them because who I'm not sending them back to Europe or wherever they came from because they're not from the U.S. But these were available on Adidas. Of course, I'm going to have the link in the description box. Duh. It ain't no fun if your friends can't have none. But let's get back to these. So basically, I failed at trying to convert my size. And they ended up coming a half size too big. And I was going to return them or sell them. But then I realized they're out of stock everywhere. And the resale price is not friendly. So I'm going to just keep these joints. And I'm going to double up on the socks. And that's what I did. So back to the outfit. I didn't know if I should wear my Jordan 1s or if I should wear the Asics. Because of the way the pants fall over the shoes. But either way, it doesn't matter. Because the outfit isn't about the shoes. Um, and then I added a metallic bag. Because metallic is my favorite pop of color. Metallic is my favorite color. So I added a metallic bag. And I added a um, see-through lens. Because I didn't want to take away from the outfit. I wasn't trying to do too much. The bag was already, you know, given a lot. And the shoe was a, a good standout. So I didn't want to do too much with the sunglasses. So I did a um, transparent lens and they are from the vault label. So the next thing that I told you that I had bought, two things. One, I didn't get to show you because they it was in the cleaners. So it was, I told you that everybody needs a white shirt. You need a white shirt. It is classic. It is a staple. It is definitely a foundational piece in your wardrobe. It will take you from work to church to your side piece house at night. I don't know. <laughs> um, date night, whatever the, the occasion is, you can wear a white shirt. So it made sense for me to invest in the Beck padded shoulder top from the Frankie shop. I had my eye on this top for the longest and it finally came in stock. And when I saw um, what Jazz wears on Instagram, I love her style love her style when I saw her wear it it was confirmation that like girl get it get it get it get it so it is pricier than your typical um white top it was $180 but it was worth every penny for me I definitely used Klarna and I am afraid to admit it but for four easy payments like me and my my friend says I wore that shirt with these embellished Zara jeans that I am just so obsessed with. So I showed a picture of the top in the last video. I'm gonna pop another video of me styling it with a mini skirt because really this top goes with anything. Anything, anything, anything. And it just looks so expensive and it looks so luxurious. It was very on brand for me. It was worth the $179 I paid for it. I will be getting the black one, 100%. Also styled it with a pair of metallic jeans that just came in. I don't know why I was dead set on getting a pair of metallic jeans. I don't know where I'm wearing them to. Something will come up um, where I will wear them to, but they are the statement, okay? So when my size came available in these Zara wide leg, kind of like oversized metallic jeans, I snagged them up. I did not think I was going to keep them because when they came, they don't feel like jeans. They're very thin and they're kind of flimsy, like not cheap, but just they're just they don't feel like denim. But when I paired them with this white shirt and then I really love how high rise they fit, I was like, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them because I lucked up on my size anyway. I actually sized up. They're size 14. I then added a Zara pump, just a metallic pump. Or if you don't have a metallic pump, I would do just a strappy heel sandal. You can even do a mule, a flat mule if you want. But um, this is kind of what I threw together with these embellished jeans. I thought they looked great with this top. I can wear that top with a mini skirt. And then as soon as I was done filming, I was like, why didn't I do that top with a pleated mini skirt? Hmm. Hmm. But that just goes to show just how versatile the top is, um, as well as the jeans, because I could wear it with a silky blouse. Paired them with the metallic jeans, which the metallic jeans I could wear with one of these type of um, stretchy tops in a solid color. I can wear it with a blazer. I can wear them with a crop. But I wore them with the Frankie Shop top. And then I even like added a little razzle dazzle because I just felt like 
Now I'm, I'm feeling like if I was at one of these events for New York Fashion Week, what would I do? Like if I'm caught in the street at night and I'm getting, you know, shot by one of those photographers for like streetwear, like New York fashion, street fashion, what would I have on? Boom, these white vault label shades. It's really giving me like, I'ma throw shade if I can't pay. Throw you up to your girl. Like, that's what it was giving me. And I really like that round away girl meets street fashion meets bling bling. Um, so that's how I styled it. Um, this can be recreated. Everybody has metallic pants right now. They are everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay. Um, and then you just, I wore it with the same Zara pointed toe pumps. They're actually slightly too big and they're not that comfortable, but who cares? I like the way the pointed toe just peeps out of the jeans. Was that all the looks I did? I think so. No. Also did the Fashion Nova cargo jeans with just a basic t-shirt, graphic t-shirt. And then I also paired the cargo jeans from Fashion Nova with a crop. But, and that crop is Skims. I absolutely love that crop. It's like the everybody, it's like the fits everybody line. But that, those pants are a little tight. So I need to play around with what top to wear with those. I have them in two sizes, but then the bigger size, the color is a little off. So that's why I didn't style the bigger size. Um, I'm gonna have to get those tailored and do a little something with those. But yeah, these are just some ways that I styled some of my new uh, purchases and yeah. There will be a part three, part four, part five, to be completely honest, because I'm not done. It just all couldn't fit here today, right now. <laughs> but there will be a part three. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, then you should come back here next week because there will be more. Until then, make sure you follow me on Instagram at oh hey K and on TikTok at oh hey K. And on Pinterest. Keep a lookout for my Macy's ad. Yay! And I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoy interacting with you all and connecting with you all in the comments. So go ahead, leave me some comments. Let me know if there are some items that you want me to style that I didn't style in this part two. Um, but go back and look at my first video on my pre-fall fashion purchases, trends, and must-haves. Because there's more. Duh. Bye.